part, so not too long ago. Yeah, if you look at this report, it pretty much was spelling out, ANZ Bank was spelling out that you know, 50, 50, not 50, 50, right? Bottom line, we've revised our official cash rate, OCR, which is interest rates, core are now forecasting back to back to back 50 point basis hikes, both in April and May. That is massively bullish. Yeah. Yeah, on the balance of probabilities though, Alexandros, again, maybe one of those things where it's like, okay, maybe a negative, a bit of a negative, but overall, if the central bank is still hiking rates, if the central bank starts saying, well, we're not hiking rates because of exports, then maybe that's, you know, you might want to cool off a bit. But even if they do say, you know, that, you know, they're not necessarily looking to hike rates because of exports, I've never seen that before. Ultimately, you have to understand that when a central bank is on a hiking cycle, when they start to hike rates, generally it can last for a long time. Does that mean that every single month you're going to have positive news not at all right there's going to be data that might you know come down a little bit you know but then push up etc it's it's it depends on where the trend for the for the good news in the economy is going so these guys have, have looked at everything and they've just said back to back 50 point hikes in may they're, they're more concerned about inflation at the moment yeah than they are at the moment maybe one data point you know, uh, just below consensus exports. As long as exports aren't, you know, trending down anymore, you know, it might be still trending up, might have a bit of a pullback, but as long as it's still looking like the economy is growing, then the central bank is going to continue to look for, you know, uh, uh, basis point hikes. So this is pretty much as bullish as it gets. And again, you know, it's not, it's not, rocket science if you understand the fundamentals to see you know if we're looking at the uh the new zealand dollar what's been happening right look at this if you're trying to look for a pullback trying to look for that pullback it's literally just been i've been setting my alerts i've just haven't been able to get an entry you know go back to you know my analysis around the third of february fourth of february in fact you can i mean there was a you know, my recent couple of weeks ago, YouTube channels and YouTube videos where I was, where I was saying, I don't know if you guys have watched it, but I'm saying it also in the group that I generally don't necessarily buy risk off, right? I'm, 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 I'm always looking for, even in the risk off environment, I see risk off as an opportunity to go long. And I was absolutely correct in it. I was absolutely correct. Yeah. In, in my analysis, Right to go long during and buy the New Zealand dollar and buy the um, uh, the the Canadian dollar and buy the US dollar. Right, that is pretty much what it was. And do you know what? In fact, give me one second, guys. Literally, I'm just going to look for it off screen because I'm just going to show you guys something quickly, if I can. One sec. Uh... Just want you to see something. And it was it was actually Fidel Fidel Green that I'm sure it was this one yeah right I can increase my position right so it was it was here yeah so here was where I was explaining it I was you want to see sorry it was it was this video here right and it's called managing your forex trades in a risk off environment Russia versus UK so this is the twenty fourth the twenty fourth of February yeah. And in this video, if you watch this video back, I talk about buying what the Canadian dollar, the Australian dollar, the New Zealand dollar against the Japanese yen and the Swiss franc. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And I explain this exact same thing, right? Prices will come down in, 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 in a risk off environment, but the upside potential, yeah, if you're right about these trades is huge. This is what I was saying. And Fidel, Fidel Green. Did I say Fidel Castro, by the way? <laughs> Did I say Fidel Castro? I was thinking of Fidel Castro. Fidel Green, right? This was a snapshot in the um, uh, in, in the group. And again, I'm talking about this in this video, right? Documented. So that was, again, probably back in maybe 
um, maybe mid-February, and I, I screenshotted it because I agreed with this, right? So he said, what happens next in Russia will finally invade Ukraine? What is going to be the long-term effect on the markets? Will risk sentiment perpetually prevail? I don't think so. I expect the markets to eventually price in war and gradually bounce back sometime soon, even if the war rages on, yeah? I would be looking to buy the dips on the dollar, CAD, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar versus the Swiss, um, the Japanese yen and the Swiss franc cross pairs, my humble opinion though. And the reason why I put it in the video is because I 100% agreed with that analysis, yeah? And, you know, you can look from the 24th of February, right? 24th of February. Look at the pairs. Look at what the pairs have done. Yeah, from there, yeah, New Zealand, Swiss, right? 24th from there. Look at all of the pairs, right? 24th there. Cad Yen, Cad Swiss. They've all gone higher. Yeah, all gone higher. So it just, you know, really kind of reinforces, um, you know, our fundamental analysis and getting the direction right. And then Euro New Zealand down, exactly. Euro New Zealand, right? Euro New Zealand down. I know, I think Ken got into this trade. I was looking for a trade on this as well. I wanted prices to come up. So that's a, I think there's a, yeah, there's a bit of a stop hunt there. You can see it there, right? Um, I don't know how how Ken, I think Ken might have got in on a, it might have been an intraday stop hunt around there. But um, nice, see the Euro dollar, you know, pretty much bouncing around, but, you know, still short. Euro, seeing as you mentioned the Euro, Aussie, for example, it's not on my list, but you can see it, commodity currencies. So, yeah, and that's a good trade, right? So, and that's and that's brilliant, um, Marianne, as well. The fact that you took that trade, yeah, based off of the fundamental analysis and it's worked out for you. Where did you get in, by the way, on that, um, on that Euro, Aussie? Do you remember? Was it was it is it around the highs? Was it around here? If Marianne is still here, Marianne. Yes, the the, the highs, brilliant, right? And that's all it is. It's, it's just a continuing and understanding the probabilities, what's likely to happen. I, I had uh, multiple entries, and uh, also some of them I uh, exit, but uh, re-entered. On, on the on the on the trade based based on the fundamentals, mm -hmm. um, I am still managing this uh, this trade. Excellent and well done, man. Well done to you. You're seeing it just play out, right? It's not. It's not. It's not. You know, people think, oh well, it's, it might be hindsight bias. You can go through my videos, right? And as you know, I've got hundreds of videos, hundreds of videos in the private members group, as well as on YouTube. And you can see pretty much what I've been saying has just been playing out over and over again. 